Gnosis. <laughs> we get upset when we can't get what we want easily. We want to achieve everything quickly and without any obstacles. But what if it's bad for our health? Some diseases are infectious. That is, they pass from one person to another. Many of these diseases are caused by viruses. Viruses are very, very small beings that existed long before plants and animals. Their only mission is to replicate themselves. And to do so, they need to enter the cells of living beings. This is called infection. If you are infected by a virus, it can interfere with the functioning of your body and make you sick. Just like a grain of sand can damage the machinery of a clock. When an infection affects many people in the same geographical area, it is called an epidemic. And when it can affect everyone on the planet, it is called a pandemic. In 2020, we suffered a pandemic caused by a virus that scientists called COVID-19. When someone is infected with COVID-19, they can expel the virus when they breathe or sneeze. It can enter our body through our mouth, nose or eyes. That is why we must protect ourselves with face masks and to wash our hands often in case we touch our face. But where did this virus come from? Why did it suddenly appear? COVID-19 probably came from a wild animal. A pangolin. Or a bat. Or maybe both. Bats and pangolins are used to it, and it only makes them mildly ill. And since they live in the depths of the jungle, the virus stays away from humans, and their disease does not affect us. <laughs> but if we destroy the jungle and come into contact with these wild animals, it is easy for the virus to be passed on to a person. So, a virus that has not left its natural environment for centuries can be spread throughout the world in a few hours and cause a pandemic. Nature has always served as a barrier, keeping viruses far away from us. But when we destroy nature, we also destroy the barrier that separates us from infected animals. we can come into contact with unknown viruses. When a disease passes from animals to humans, it is called zoonosis. The only way to avoid zoonosis is to look after nature and protect its diversity. Natural habitats should be kept free of human influence. so that viruses remain where they are and do not affect us. It's like this game. If you want the ball to land on the prize box, the fewer obstacles there are, the better. But if the prize is a virus, you will prefer for sure to have many obstacles on the way in order to avoid the prize. Conservation of natural diversity is the best way to protect ourselves from new unknown diseases. <laughs> <laughs>